So I built these escapes, escape bee boards. It's something that uh, you put under your honey box to clear the bees. And you can see that it worked pretty well. So uh, what happens is that the bees are able to escape uh, through the maze, but they're not able to come back. So I, I thought I had taken a video of me removing the box without the bees, but I was not recording. But this is just showing you the underside of it. And now all the bees in this bee box. So it worked pretty well. So I think I'm going to start to use those from now on. It's way easier than the method I used before. And it's gentler on the bees. So while I'm in here, I'm going to give you a little shot of inside the beehive. Lots of bees in this honey box. Today is, is kind of cloudy, so I'm kind of hesitating to disturb all these bees by putting the board underneath. So I'm just going to leave it there. And... Uh, Tomorrow is going to be a bit nicer and then I'll put it under this box to clear all these bees and push them down to the, the brood boxes. So uh, yeah, lots of bees. It's cloudy today, raining on and off, but they're just doing their things. It's been not even a day and they've already started to build some uh, comb on top in the lid there. That's why they're clumped there. They're starting to build some wax combs. And I can see some on that screen material as well. Well, it's starting to rain, so we're gonna try to close this up without uh, disturbing them too much or squishing any bees. There. There's a few flying around now, so. Yeah. So I think this is a success. So, like I said, the plan for tomorrow is to move this board there and then clear this entire honey box so I can harvest the frames. I can show you this, this colony is also doing lots of bearding and uh, even though it's raining a little bit, it doesn't bother them much. But they, they just like to hang out at the entrance like that. <laughs> 